This is the first time that I'm going to go live on my channel. Um, I'm in quarantine here in Aruba. Thank goodness things aren't too bad here. Um, but my heart goes out to all of those of you that are abroad, Italy, Holland, Europe, and the U.S., and all the other countries that are having a hard time with this virus that's going on right now. Right now, let's just make the best of it. Um, it's been about a month and a half since I've uh, done anything and moving on a fitness instructor here in Aruba. Uh, gotta get, get my fitness back on, so I can't take uh, too much time off, of course. It was nice for a week or two, but it's time to get back to business people, so I hope you'll join me on my workouts. Uh, this workout is gonna be pretty, pretty easy, pretty basic. For those of you that would like to join, all you need is a pair of weights, a towel, and your mat. It's going to be floor exercises. We might get up and do some squats and some leg work, because that's my favorite thing to do, of course. So I hope you'll join me, and let's make the best of it. Stay positive, and you can do this. Come on, join me. Let's go. Get my music on. We'll start nice and slow, taking it nice and easy, side to side, side, and four, and three, and two, and one. We'll take it over to one side eight times more, and two, three more, and one, two, three, and four. Take it over to the other side. One, two, three, four, four. Come on, I hope you're joining me. One, two, three, four. And nice and easy. Angel arms. And two, three, four. Make sure those arms cross behind your head. You can. And four more. And three more. Two more, give me one arm. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, take it to the other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to slow it down. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, and you take it side, center, side, center, side. Keep that tummy tucked in all the way, all the way. Four more, and three more, two more, one. And now we're doing arms still down and up, warming up those shoulders for the next things to come. Four, three, two, one. Keep it small, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, open. Two, three, and four. All right, now we're going to lower the arms, and now we've got to get back up here. I'm just going to lower the music a little bit. All right, now you can hear me better, I hope. Now we're going to get started with a little warming up here. This is more for the legs. We're going to cross our toes together, open our knees. And we're going to sit back into our heel. This is going to be our first child's pose. You can stay here if you're comfortable here. You can also go all the way down. Now, while you're doing this, try to round your back and try not to arch your back. Yeah, we want to get a nice rounded spine. Preparing your spine for what's to come. Now, from here, we're going to come all the way up. And we're going to lean back one more time, keeping your tummy very, very tight. All of the exercises that we do today. We come back up and we go down. And now we're going to do two more. And at the end of this, we're going to hold our position in the tabletop. One last one for me, keeping your tummy nice and tight during the whole workout. And up and hold here. We're going to uncross your legs. And we're going to start with our bird dog. Now, bird dog is one leg out and the other arm extended out. And switch. Ooh, almost fell there. And switch. 
and switch. And last one, switch. And now we're gonna hold it here. You keep extending that arm and that leg right here. Keep your tummy tucked in nice and tight. And we're gonna go one and two and three and four, five, six, seven. Hold it up here, hold it right here. You're gonna work with only that leg now. Up and down and up and then and up. Give me just four more and four and three. And two, and one. Hold it here. Four, three, two. I hope you have a tight tummy. And down. Woo! And from here, we're going to switch it over to the other side. Because you can't be one side if you have to do both sides on that one. So we're back into our bird dog here. Four, three, two. And one, we go down and one, up and two, up and three, up and four, up and five, up and six, up and seven, up and eight. We're gonna hold it right here, and you're gonna only do some leg work, working the glutes there and the hamstrings. We go and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, hold it here. Eight, woo! Lift that leg up high. I don't want your leg down. You come on, lift that leg up high. Feel those glutes working today. And we release. Woo! And we go down. Two, three, and this brings us into our next position. We're going to do some yogi push ups. This is one of my favorite push ups to do. So we have eight yogi push ups right now. So let's get to it. We're going to inhale on your up, exhale on your down. And Push-ups are so good for your arms. They work the whole length of the arm. You're working the shoulders. Of course, you have your tummy tucked all the way in. To get that extra zing in the tummy right there. So work it. I hope you're joining me with this. I hope you're working out with me today. Quarantine is not going to stop us from doing anything. And now this last one, we're going to hold it down. Hold it down and keep it here. And we're going to pump it up for a few, a few times. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! Back. Take that little break. You deserve it. Remember, round that back every time we go into our child's pose. And we're going to come up. All right. So we've done some arm work. Now it's time to do some tummy work. That is my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite part of the body to train, the tummy. Make sure you have your handy towel on for any time you need it. A room is warm. So these are one of the problems when we have to deal with all this sweat. <laughs> so let's do some tummy work. You can have your feet flat on the floor, whatever works best for you. What we're going to start is with a nice little crisscross. It's going to be cross, cross. Cross, cross, cross. Keeping your coming in all the time as you're coming up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it to one side only. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Switch it over. Eight, come on, guys, let's go. One. And two, and three, and four, five, six, seven. Now you're going with the leg crisscross, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven. One side, and one side, and then one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Take it over, take it over to the other side, and one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're gonna lift those legs to the sky. Point your toes if you'd like. You can flex your toes if you feel bad. But yeah, whatever works for you best. Open those legs just a little bit. I like to point my toes during this one. 
And you want to kind of reach out, extending your arms, and kind of reach for your feet. Yeah? This is an awesome one. Now remember, keep your coming in. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up, hold it up. Push your coming all the way and extend those arms long for four more. Three more, come on, reach. Two more, and release. Woo! Yeah. That'll do it for you. All right. Now, we've done some belly work, which is always my favorite. Some is, your core is so important to have a, so important to have a strong core. So I make sure to train my core every, every, every day. Now I'm going to go over to a step that's tricky for the legs. Ladies, I know you like to train those legs. So we are going to work a bit on the legs. It's going to be a very, very easy routine for this part also. Still taking it nice and easy. Remember, it's been my first workout after a long time, so I've got to take it easy. Now these are always my favorite exercises to do for the views. So here we go. We're going to start by extending one leg out all the way. Keeping your core tight. Now with this exercise, try not to use your back too much. You don't want to use your back. You want to use only the glutes. So you're pushing up, up, and eight, seven, stomach in, six, five, four, three, two. Now you're going to hold it here. Bend your leg. One, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven. Hold it up here. And one, two. Three, is that coming tight? Four, come on girls, five, six, seven, and hold it up, hold it up. Now tiny, tiny. Remember, not using the back, just the glue, just the glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it here, like in a circle. Circle, 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 woo! I feel those glutes burning. Oh my goodness, wonderful, I love the burn. Don't you love the burn? It's always about the burn. Four, Three, two, and one. All right, now we kill that side of the leg. We got the other side to do. We got the other side to do. No chickening out, chickening out. You gotta join me on this one. We're in this together, right? So come on, let's finish it off together. Here we go. Extend that leg. Your tummy is all the way in. You gotta keep that tummy nice and flat for this exercise. And we go one, and two, and three. And four. Remember, no back. No using that back. Six, seven, and hold it up. Hold it up. Bend that knee. And we're just going to push it all the way out. And we go one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven. Hold it up there. Hold it there. We're going to extend that leg. And one, up, two, up, three. This is where I feel it. This is my favorite. I feel it in the hamstrings. Five, six, seven. And eight, hold it there. Now we're going to do really tiny. Go one, two, three. Not the back, not the back, just the glute. Five, six, seven, eight. How about that O? No one ever likes the O, but the O is the awesomest exercise. So we go O. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now bring it down. Woo! We're not done with the leg part. We're still working the legs. We've got the nice back part of the glutes here, which is wonderful. Let me get my towel. Because I am sweating bullets, y'all. I am sweating bullets. That is the Aruba heat for you right there. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. All right. Now we're going to lie on our backs and we're going to get the second part of our leg work I've done lying on our backs. Now remember, do what you can. You can also. Um, do it a bit easier or slower if you need to. Um, so take your time and uh, just make the best of it. Don't, don't work too hard for this one. We have lots of time for that. I got some more plans for us. So let's make sure that this part goes well and then we'll move on. All right. Now here we're doing some leg and booty work again. So we're going to start nice and slow. Now just follow my lead. I'm going to try and do pounds of eight for everything. So here we go. We start one and two and three. And four and five and six and seven and hold it up. Now, from your holding it up, you want to keep your tummy tight. 
activate your glutes real well. You're going to see the back part of your leg is working really, really hard. Now you're going to push up and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Hold it up. Eight. Now from here, just a tiny squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keeping your glutes very, very activated during this particular exercise. That's the part that you're working. So we're one and two and three and four, five, six, seven. Give me last eight. Come on, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, four, three, two. Hold it here. Now from here, we're going to go down, down, down. Take just a little break. It's not going to be a long one, guys. So it's going to be like four, three, two, and get right back up. Right back up. Now this one is one of my favorites. This really works well. This is going to be a nice short step. We're going to go one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, and eight. Leg down. Change sides. And we go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Again to the other side because this one is awesome. And one and two and three. I hope you got a smile on your face while you're doing this. Five, six, seven, and eight. Last time, take it to the other side, guys. Come on, push, push, push. And one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ooh, not done yet. Get those legs nice and close together. Get up on your tiptoes. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and four more. This got my inner thighs really going. Inner thighs are really going. And hold. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, yeah. I'm going to say that was the best part of my workout so far. All right. We're going to come back to the legs. But just for a moment, we're going to take a little break and move on to the arms. So those legs need to rest. And then we're going to do a little bit more ab work. Because, you know, we like you the ab work, the ladies. We like you the ab work. Now, if you've got them, go ahead and grab your weights. If you don't have a set of weights, that's also fine. You can improvise. You can use your weights. You can maybe take off your sneakers and you can use those. Because believe me, you, after a while, they do become heavy. So if you've got your weights, go ahead and grab your weights. And if not, go through the exercises, go through the motion, using force, but no weights. You can do that. All right. Now we're going to get started with our first set. It's going to be both arms. And we're going to open and close. And open and close. And open and close. Now remember, this is some arm work. This is light shoulder work. My weights are only about one pound. Are these one pound? Yeah, these are one pound heavy, so they're not all that heavy. Just wanted to get our workouts jump started for now. And then maybe next week we'll do workouts that are a bit more intense. For those of you that like a workout that's a bit more intense. Right now, it's all about building up that strength and getting to where you need to be. Four, five, six, seven, give me eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold it out, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, give me the last eight, come on, one, one and two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Ooh, that was some shoulder work there. Now keep moving. Keep your arms going. Let's get some bicep work in there. This is more to get your heart pumping because, of course, this is your bicep, and your bicep can take quite a beating in the sense that you can lift weights that are heavier than one pound with your bicep, of course. So just to get that heart pumping, come on. Use those arms. Go big with perform. If you don't have those weights, yes, you can. Come on, of course you can. Eight, seven, come on, pump those arms. Six, five, four more, three more, two more. And this is going to be your last, last set. And up, out, up, out, up, out, up, out. 
Give me four more. Three more. Come on, guys. Two more. Woo. Hold it up. Hold it up. And open and close. And open and close. And open and close. And four more. Come on. Come on. I feel the burn. Four. Three. Woo. Two. And one. Arms down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Keep it here. And one. Two. Three. Four. Woo. Six. Seven. Hold it here. Out. Twist. Up. Oh my God, we're so gonna kill me. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last eight. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! Always fun for working those arms. I love working the chicken wings, y'all. I love working the chicken wings. It's so nice when a lady has beautiful shoulders. Don't you think? I love it. Oh, you don't want to see that jiggle. Oh my God, I got the jiggle still. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ladies, what you want to do? Some jiggle is always fine. Of course, we always like some jiggle. Now, for the next step, we're going to do a set of arms still, but with no weights. So you can go ahead and put your weights on the side there. And then we're just going to do a few sets of uh, in arms, which is what we started out our one with. So, we're going to do our ink arms again. Now, once your arms go up, you really want to try and get them right behind your head and use your pulse, use your wrist, and touch down. So notice how my wrist goes up. I flash right behind my head, and then I come back all the way down. Yes? So we keep going. Now, with this exercise, you can do it as slower as quickly as you like. So if you're comfortable going at a slower pace for this, you can go ahead and do that. Yes? My tempo is not necessarily your, your tempo. And that's perfectly fine, I think. Strong arms on this one. Keep your core tight. Don't lose the strength in that core. That's so important, that core strength. Keep your tummy all the way in. And now, we're going to try going just a little bit faster. 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 Woo! When you go faster, you really feel this one in those arms, I tell you. Get those arms right behind your head and use your wrists. And four more. We're almost done with today's exercise. Almost, almost done. So come on, don't you give up on me. Don't you dare give up on me yet. Come on, work through it. Push, push, push. Last three, two, one arm, one arm, and one, two, three. Keep that tempo up, keep that tempo up. Come on, four more, three more, two more, and switch. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold these arms out. Make a nice fist with your arm. Make a fist with your hand. And we're going to do small little tiny circles. Circle, 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 circle. Come on. Four more. Ooh, the sweat is real, y'all. The sweat is real if you're here in Aruba. And it is a warm day. Enjoy the heat, though. And switch over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Extend your arms all the way out. Keep your shoulders down. Don't let your shoulders crawl up into your neck there. Keep your shoulders up. Keep your arms nice and long. Stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, roll those shoulders just a little bit. To keep the sanity in those shoulders that are going because you know those are never easy. All right, now for the last part, so we're going to do a standing part in our exercises. So I'm going to have to adjust my camera just a little bit maybe for this. But we're going to do some squats and we're also going to do um, a few, work a bit more on the stomach. So I think we're going to work a bit more on the stomach before I decide to stand up and do the squats. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to separate our legs apart. I'm going to give you um, an alternative for this if you think this one is too hard. This is one of my favorites to do. It's basically the Russian twist that we all know. But I like to do my Russian twist with my legs just slightly more open than usual. And I like to touch in the middle. So I want you to touch, touch, 
touch, touch, touch, touch, touch, touch. Yeah? As you work that middle section of the stomach right there. This is really great for your waist. You can do both sides if you feel more comfortable doing this way. But I always feel like I strain less and work more if I do it this way. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna hold it in and in and in. Now notice that I'm not sitting up completely straight. You can sit up completely straight if you like to make this a bit easier on your back. Be really using your core so that you don't injure yourself. You really have to keep your core and don't bend your, don't slap. Keep your shoulders back and straight. That's the best way to do this particular exercise. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Keep your tummy tight once again. If you can, maybe lean back just a little bit. Keeping the shoulders back. Don't stop. Keeping the shoulders back. Reaching those arms forward. Keep your inhale and your exhale steady. Tight, tight, tight core. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, and one. All right. And we come right back up. That was wonderful. You did a great job. Now we go to the last part of our exercise, which is going to be the squats part. This to me is my favorite part. I'm going to have to adjust my camera just a little bit so that I can get, um, you know, everything in there. So let's see. All right. Now for this part, I already see we're going to have some trouble here. So I'm just going to stay down in my squat. And we're going to start with one and two and three and four. Hold it down. Now remember, you don't want your knees to buckle too much, so try and keep this as parallel as you can. You don't have to be all the way down here if you don't feel comfortable. This is perfectly fine. And we go one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight more, and eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to take out one leg, and we're going to be here. And we go. One, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch it around. And we go. One, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo, good. We go for the center now. And we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and Five and six and seven. Hold it down for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Woo! All right. That was it, my guys. That was it for the leg part. Let me fix my camera again. Oh, yeah, look at all that sweat. That sweat is real. Real. <laughs> all right, guys. We're down to the last part of our exercise what we call the cooling down. Some of you prefer the cooling down compared to the whole exercise. It's a good part, it's really important. So we're gonna get a couple of good stretches in there. So take your time, do what you can, and let's see how that works. We're gonna start here with our first stretch. During this stretch, keep your knee high, bring it all the way up to your chest, and rotate your ankle. Rotate to the other side. Now extend one arm out, straight up. Leave one hand holding the knee, and we're gonna stretch the body over to the other side. So take that knee all the way over to the other side here. Make sure that your shoulder is still on the floor. You don't want your shoulder to be lifted off the floor, because then you're stretching, you're over stretching. Hold that for just a few seconds. Stretching is so important after workout. I've been a fitness instructor for years and only now I've learned how important the stretching you're cooling down is. We bring it back over, we release this leg, 
and we switch over to the other side. And we come up. Rotate that angle. Take it over to the other side. Extend the arm, take it all the way up, and turn over. You might feel they're a bit more flexible on one side compared to the other. That's perfectly okay and perfectly normal. We come all the way back up, and we go into Happy Baby. Oh, this is so good for the lower back. That truly decompresses the lower back. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now down, let's get stretching out those glutes, huh? Cross your one leg over. There by the ankle, so your foot's kind of hanging loosely. And then from there you can lift. You hold, you can hold your leg here, I'll give you some options. You can hold it here. You cannot hold anything if you don't like. If you want a bit of a deeper stretch, you can always bring this leg all the way in. Ah, pulling down always feels so good after workout. It's like you've worked your best and you've done your hardest. And all the work is done, so it's the best feeling in the world. And release down. Switch legs over. Switch it over. Cross. Lift. Now remember, you can hold it here, you don't have to hold it, or you can go deep. Sometimes I like to go deep, but I just want to do it every day, but I do like to go deep. Just hold it right there. You can always rotate the lower ankle if that interests you. It feels good, it all just has to feel good, doesn't it? I think that's the most important part of everything. And we release here. We're going to put hands under your knees. We're going to sit up for the next part of our stretching. We're going to open our legs wide, stretching the inner part. One hand on the side, stretch down. Making sure that your arm is not covering your ear. Make sure that you're stretched all the way out and your hand is reaching to the corner. Not here, reaching to the corner. Switch it over to the other side, nice inhale, exhale, stretch it out. I still got my core really tight, working it still. That was a good, nice short workout. It doesn't have to be a long hour. Uh, just as long as you move every day, that's most important. And we come down. From here, we're gonna crawl forward. It's good, right there. Trying to keep your, your legs in one place. So you don't want your, your toes to go forward or to roll back. You want to keep those toes pointing up. You can even punch your toes if that feels better to you, of course. Now from your also remember, you're not doing this from your back. So you don't want to have a slouch. You don't want to be slouched forward. You want to have your shoulders back and down and pretending as if you're reaching forward. So you're not bending forward. Reaching forward. You have a nice stretch right in between here, the inner thigh. Inner thighs are so important, especially if you dance. I dance almost every day, and that makes for some pretty tight inner thighs. So stretching, I can't put enough emphasis on how important it is for you to stretch every day. Take it to the other side. We come up and we take it over to the other side. Now, as I said, you might be more flexible on one side compared to the other. That is completely normal and it's perfectly okay, I would say, perfectly okay. And we come up. We're gonna close the legs together. Inhale your hands over your head, then you do it to this side. This is the proper way of doing it. Inhale up and exhale all the way down. Inhale up 
And we're going to take it all the way down one more time. Exhale. We come up. We'll take your pulse coming down. One last stretch. One last stretch to the back. Come on, guys. We can do this. We've done it all the way together, so why not finish it off? Stretch that back out. All the way to the back of the arm. Look back if you can at that thumb. Remember, don't slouch your shoulders. Keep your back straight. Your tummy is still tight. We're going to take it over to the other side. 